Hey, what's up? Jin here from Code and Quick Tips. Today with another video about tile maps. In this video, I will show you a very, very simple system to um, move around on a tile map. And um, this video should basically show you how to interact with a tile map. To start off, I use the code from the previous video. So, yeah, check this out if you haven't already. And then we are ready to go. So what do you need to actually um, let a player move around on the map? We will need a um, player that renders on the screen and we will need um, somehow the position of the player. To start off I will just add some variables for the position of the player and because I will do um, just a block by block movement in this video the position of the player will be an integer representing its position on the tile map. So for example, I will say private x and y for the coordinates and I will init them with uh, a private int x and y and I will init them with some values that should fit, for example, at tile2, two, uh, two tile2, two. so at x and y2, our player will start. To render our player, I will just use a um, basic one color square because that shouldn't be the main point of this video. So I just say g dot full rect and we say x. Um, then I will multiply this x value with the size of one tile so we can actually um, convert the tile coordinates to actual pixel coordinates. So the x and the y multiplied with 32 because that's the size of one tile for me and then the player will be um, as the size of one tile so it will basically fill a whole tile. If we run now we should have a um, white square at the position 0, 1 and 2 so here is x2 and here is y2 so here is our player on the correct position on the tiled map. So, if we now want to move the player around, we will need to do that in the update method. And in the last um, video, or in the end of the last video, I mentioned how to get an object layer, uh, or how to get the ID of our object layer, or in general, how to get the ID of a, uh, of a layer with a specific name, and how to send you set ID to get the block ID or the tile ID from a specific tile on that layer. So for example, um, this call here will get the tile 0, 0 from the op object layer. So it will be set tile and in that case it's there is a tile so the tile ID is not 0. And to make our movement possible um, we will basically check um, if the player hits an error key and if he hits, for example, the right arrow key, we will check if the block or the tile right of the player is zero, because if it's zero, we can move, and if not, we yeah, basically won't move. Uh, please notice that that technique is a very... Yeah, it's not really a detailed collision, so it's just blockwise collision. I will cover detailed collision in another video. So to start off, we just say if our gc dot input uh, gc dot get input dot is key down or is key pressed so if a key is pressed for example if the input dot key right is pressed so if our um, right arrow key is pressed um, we will go inset if statement and then we will basically check if um, map dot get tile ID and here um, we will basically search for a specific tile ID so we can say if the tile ID at the position x plus 1 because we want the tile right of us so y is the same as ours and the object layer is uh, yeah it's the object layer where we are searching so the statement will basically first check um, if the right key is pressed and then we will check if the then we will get the tile ID from the um how's it called? We will get the tile ID from the tile map 
and we will get the tility that is right from our player. So our player is right now at set position, then we will search for set tility on the object layer. And on our object layer, um, there are only those boxes here, and because there is no box, um, this tile ID should be zero. And if that's the case, we can basically increment our x value, our or our x position of the player. With that technique, we can say I press another right key, and the player will move right because there were um, no object that it could be collided with. If I hit right again, it will work until I reach the wall. And now I press right all the time, but it won't move right because there is another ID sent zero from that tile, and because of that we can't move there. We can now just um, take that and use it for the different key directions, so if key left, and then we must check the tile left of us, so we get the tile ID of the tile from our left hand side. Uh, we can basically also do that with the up and down key. So uh, let's take a look. If up is given, then we will just keep the x value because we move on the y value and say the key about um, the tile above us is y minus one. And if that's true, we can decrement the y. Oh, here too, we can make it smaller. And if we hit the down key. We will basically check the tile um, beneath us, so y plus 1, and if that's true, we can increment y to go down. That should be the whole thing to move around, so I can go down, go right, go down, go left, and I can go up. Yes, that's it for a very, very basic way to um, somehow um, interact with the tile map. That should work for some basic games, but I think it's not the perfect thing because normally you want to move around smoothly. But you can also use this technique and implement the box box collision code I showed in the previous video to do um, like smooth movement. Yes, that's it for that video. In the next video, I will cover how to um, move the camera around so that our player is, for example, always in the middle of the screen, and um, how it's in the normal games. And I will also cover how to um, I will also cover how to zoom in and how to zoom out with the camera. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.